All right, next step. Earnings, those of you that are knee deep in your accounting, you realize that earnings has a lot of accounting entries that are not cash based. So you want to understand how the cash position of the business looks, what that, how that is working, um, how well that uh, is supporting the business. You begin with EBIT, which is earnings before interest and taxes, also operating margin. Um, you get to a net income perspective, and you understand how that part works. That is, you take out interest and taxes, you look at your net income. Then you figure out what sort of investments the organization is making and whether or not any f unexpected financing events occurred. There might be a sell-off of some, of some things. There might be some write-offs that you want to look at to see. It might, you know, the business might look like it lost money, but it was because of some one-time write-offs. You want to look at those kinds of situations to see if there's any adjustments um, that, that that allow you to believe that, that what you're looking at is not necessarily reflecting the total operations. Um, and then you want to look at your working capital to see if there, there is an inventory buildup or if there's accounts for revenue buildup, how well they're managing their receivables and their payables. That generally gets a sense of how well disciplined the organization is in terms of it managing itself going forward, managing its cash position. Leaves for free cash flow. That's the basis for valuing the, the business. Um, analysts get to that at the, as a bottom line, adjusting for one-time events and eliminating any sort of non-cash and expenses, etc. Get to this idea of what does the cash flow of this business generate. That's how one determines whether or not the business is increasing its shareholder value or not going forward strong gross and operating margins, making all of these appropriate adjustments can tell you how much shareholder value is being created, which is ultimately where we're trying to go as we move this, this uh, story forward. So what's been missing from my discussion so far? I've talked about, the, this is in terms of the operations, we've talked about the income statement, how that works, we've talked about the getting to a cash flow statement, but we haven't really talked about depreciation and amortization. These are, this, these are the adjustments that have to be made because depreciation means that from an accounting perspective, we don't necessarily show the cash event as the cash is being taken out of the business, but it is within the income statement, but it is uh, depreciated over multiple time periods, over multiple years perhaps, or other events or other things that have a life, um, a useful life, not necessarily a physical asset, but a useful life over a number of time periods are amortized. Um, in this class, I don't make a big deal out of fixing the depreciation amortization issues when you're looking at the analysis, when you're doing your financial analysis. Um, the, this is a strategic class and not necessarily an accounting class. For what we're doing and when you do a basic strategic analysis, uh, you can avoid or you could just uh, assume that the accounting is being done appropriately in this kind of environment for what we're doing. When you do this for Financial analysis, if that becomes a career that you move in the direction of, um, this actually becomes an entirely different or an, an entirely um, specialized area to make sure that you are understanding that the depreciation and amortization assumptions within the financial statements are, are following FASB and GAAP and that, they're, that you understand how those assets are being re recognized and that that you understand how the adjustments might affect value. Big deal for accountants, financial analysts. Not so big a deal for this class. Okay, So just keep that in mind as we move forward. We are not addressing this, but that doesn't mean it's not important. It means that we're not dealing with that in the context of analysis associated with our, um, our strategic assessments. Okay.